Hey everyone, it's Christina and today we're doing something a little different. For those of you who do not know me, I am of course a bowler, but I am also a historian of 19th and early 20th century vice. During my time as a historian, I have had opportunities to research and write on the history of bowling and I thought I'd start sharing this information with you in the short little vlog series. For my first few videos, I would like to take a look at this 1895 bowling handbook. This handbook was published the same year as the American Bowling Congress was created. Inside are tips and regulations for bowling, but also some insight into different bowling games people would play in the 19th century. Remember, they didn't have automatic pin setters back then, so that allowed bowlers to get creative with how many pins they put up and what locations they put them in. So I thought we would take a look at some of those games today. The first game we're going to take a look at is called Cocked Hat. For this game, you leave the 1710 standing. The goal is to get a strike by knocking down all three pins, but there are no spares. However, your next two balls do count towards your strike, just like in regular 10 pin bowling. I get up in the first frame and I strike. In the second frame, I get up, and my first ball takes out the 1 7, and my second ball takes out the 10 pin. And yes, I know in the real world I would probably miss that 10 pin, but this is pretend and I'm making it. Since there are no spares in this game, you would take the three pins that you knock down and add it to the strike that you got in the first frame, which is also three pins, to give you a total of six through the second frame. The next game I want to talk about is called the Cocked Hat and Feather. In this game, you put the 1, 5, 7, 10 up, and the goal is to knock down every single pin except for the five pin. So this scores differently than the Cocked Hat. For this game, you get three balls per frame. They don't remove the dead wood. And if you don't knock down all the pins except for the five, you get a zero for that frame. So you know when you leave a five pin on league and your friend raises their hand and if you miss it, you got to buy them a drink? Well, in the 19th century in this game, if you make it, you got to buy them a drink. Not an actual historical fact. So I get up in the first frame. I use my three balls, but only managed to take out the one pin and the seven pin. I told you I missed 10 pins a lot. Get up in the second frame end up accidentally taking out the five pin. Well, that's two zeros in a row for me now. Third frame's a charm. Get up, I take out the one, the seven, the 10. I get 10 points for that, but I do owe my friend Frank a beer for taking out that five pin in the second frame. These are just two of several games outlined in this handbook. If you like what you see, then let me know and I will gladly make some more of these on the different games using fabulous cheesy graphics. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube for more bowling history, as well as ball reviews, previews, and other information on the brands you see here. Thank you for watching.